Good afternoon, everyone. Wynn Brown with Haywood Healthcare's uh, update, weekly update for the week ending uh, Friday, April 29th. Sorry, I've got a puppy here. This is Happy. Can you say hi, Happy? There's Happy. Happy wants to be part of today's presentation. So you might see her in and out. Um, she's looking for some attention. I just got home. Uh, so just an update on our testing, which I usually start with. Um, we have a cumulative positive rate of 9%, uh, which has moved a little bit uh, versus the state at 4% throughout the pandemic. So we're twice the state average overall. And when we look at our seven day rolling average, which is really the current figures for the testing that we do, uh, we are at 5.26% uh, positivity. So we have an uptick uh, versus the state at 3.42. So um, I wouldn't say we have a surge going on, but we definitely are seeing an uptick uh, in uh, the positivity in our region. So just know that that is out there. I encourage everybody to get a booster if they haven't gotten a booster yet. And I'll have some information on that. Uh, we just um, celebrated patient experience week. And so there's some pictures for our staff. Uh, we were giving out flowers and doing a number of things. I also have some other pictures uh, later on that you'll see in there. Also, uh, the big announcement is we have our Service Excellence Awards back in person at the Colonial Hotel on May 11th. And this is where we honor everybody on their five-year anniversary. So it's outside under the big tent. Uh, and we'll have stand-up tables. It won't be a sit-down dinner. It'll be past hors d'oeuvres, um, trying to keep everybody uh, as socially distanced as possible. It's really a special time for us to recognize um, the great staff we have at, at across the Haywood uh, family, the Haywood team. Uh, so I encourage everybody, if you have a five-year anniversary coming up, uh, to be, take part in that. It's really a lot of fun. Uh, and we have some awards that we give out and scholarships that we're going to give out at that event as well. Uh, this week is Medical Laboratory Professionals Week. I've slipped through the lab a couple of times because they have treats in their back break room. Uh, and so if you haven't had a chance to thank anybody on our laboratory team, please do that when you get a chance. It was also Administrative Professionals Day on April 27th. And uh, so uh, the senior team, we have uh, some administrative professionals and I wanna thank Carol Rosa for doing the shopping this year uh, for the gifts for our, our executive assistant who we could not do our work without. So thank you uh, to all of you on our team. Um, just a reminder uh, to make sure we drive slowly in our parking lots. Uh, our speed limit is 10 miles an hour, and uh, we're hearing from security that some people are going faster than that. So let's just be very careful about that. That also includes the mount in the parking lot where we're doing our shuttle service because of all the construction on our campus. I don't know about uh, everybody else on the team, but I actually love riding the shuttle. It's quick. There's really not much of a wait, and you get to see all sorts of people uh, that you don't normally get to see throughout the day and reconnect and, and also meet some new uh, colleagues uh, that you might not know very well or haven't had a chance to meet. Hi, hi, Happy, yes. Happy wants to say hi one more time. There she is. Uh, she is a standard poodle uh, therapy dog uh, that we have in our family, and so she does therapy work. Um, just also, uh, for uh, speaking of boosters, on June 1st, there is a COVID vaccine clinic um, at the Gardner Senior Center, um, sponsored by Community Health Connections as well. So I encourage you to take advantage of that. The information's in our... Um, in the email as well. And then uh, this weekend, it's uh, free admissions to Davis uh, Farmland for healthcare workers uh, for healthcare appreciation weekend there. So if you wanna take advantage of that, there's some information. Uh, Jamie Ledger is starting up our golf league again. And so if you're interested in that, you can email him or give him a call. Um, we also on the intranet have our employee engagement calendar up so you can see what's happening throughout the month. Uh, walk in your shoes, if we're having a raffle, free food, Fridays, which actually was uh, Thursday this week. Uh, and so you can take a look at that and it gets populated uh, with all sorts of things. Uh, and so keep taking a look at that. I know that the most popular thing on our internet is the menu at our cafeterias. And so when you go look at the ca cafeteria menu, you can take a look at that as well. Um, we do have a blood drive at Monty Tech on Saturday, May 14. As you know, blood drives have been few and far between during the pandemic. So if you would like to give blood, please um, uh, see that information there. There's a link to click on. Um, and then Miller's River Primary Care welcomes Dr. Duda um, in orange. And so she's accepting new patients. And so there's some information in here for that as well. And then on our website under um, human resources, employee discounts is our working advantage um, website. We can get all sorts of discounts for things. And um, I was doing one of my birthday lunches uh, and Marla told us about that. And I actually had not been fully aware of it. So take advantage of that. There's some great things, especially if you want to go to Disney or uh, do some, go to some shows and do some other things. So take, take, take a look at that. There's, it's filled with all sorts of things. 
Um, and then the Massachusetts Public Health Network um, is having a clinic at Clark Memorial Auditorium, um, uh, which is actually today. Uh, so after you get, watch this video, you can go get that done. Um, we have Nurses and Hospital Week coming up, which is May 8 through 14, and we have a full schedule of events uh, coming from the patient experience team and, and staff experience. We also did Walk In at Your Shoes this week. Um, this is a picture of uh, Paul Hefferden, who was uh, working in Central Sterile, and um, I was with Sharon Case doing EVS work in the ER, and uh, she surprised me. She came out, out of her uh, the closet where she keeps all her things in the emergency department, and she was wearing this fun festive mask, and she gave me some clown shoes to wear, which I wore uh, for the photos, but I, I didn't wear them uh, throughout the uh, clinical areas, but it was a lot of fun, and I really want to thank uh, uh, Sharon for hosting me. Um, save the dates. Um, Relay for Life is June 10th. Our Athol Golf Classic, August 8, Ride for Your Life, our Motorcycle Ride, August 21, and the Haywood Golf Classic, September 12, so you can sign up for those. All that information is on um, our internet uh, site, so take a look at that if you want to participate that, or if the community members are looking and watching this, if you want to sponsor us and support us. Um, there's information on uh, flu uh, and Pfizer uh, booster vaccines at CVS and Walgreens, so if you want to do that off-site, that information's here. Um, and if you're a staff member that feels you, you need some sort of support, uh, mental health support, uh, given the pandemic or anything else that might be going on in your life, um, we have our Quabbin Retreat and the staff are there to support you and also clinical and support options, which is based on the Athol campus. Uh, and if you uh, have someone you know that's looking for a career change, we've been hiring like mad, uh, staffing ourselves back up and so you can visit the career page. Uh, so please share that widely uh, as we are always looking for good people to join the Haywood family. Uh, that's my news for today. Um, beautiful afternoon, a little bit cooler than I'd like. I was kind of thinking we were going to maybe eat on the deck tonight, but it's feeling a little windy and cold. But it's going to be a gorgeous weekend, so get out there, get some exercise, get some fresh air. And for those who are working over the weekend, we thank you for uh, caring for the patients in our community. I'll talk to you next week. Take care.